what a difference a day makes. Only last night um, he was saying the choice is between me and a left-wing government relying on the Arab parties to get ahead. Now he's calling for a unity government. It's a smart move. It's a realistic move because he can see that the numbers are shifting. And now, in fact, he is two seats behind uh, the blue and white party on the latest figures with 97% of the vote counted. So it's um, a realistic move. It's a smart move. It shows him with the initiative. But interestingly, <coughs> it, <coughs> apologies, it also blocks the biggest objection that the blue and white party had to the Likud, which is Benjamin Netanyahu himself. They are saying not that they won't sit with the Likud, but that they won't sit with the Likud, which is led by someone who has three corruption charges pending against him. So there is that in the air too. If he were to get this meeting, it would be a real victory. Iris, despite this call for unity, there's also very real talk that all of this could eventually lead to a third round of elections there. That's right. Well, part of the reason is that let's say that to the Blue and White Party overcomes its objections to Benjamin Netanyahu. They sit down for a discussion with him. Uh, it's a rotation government. Who would go first? Who would be the first prime minister? Would Benjamin Netanyahu give up that position? Uh, we've heard all the people talking about that this morning on his behalf saying, certainly not. Um, he's going to be possibly charged later with um, corruption allegations. That's a very real likelihood. So he would have to go first. What an extraordinary bit of reasoning that is, by the way. Uh, but what we are also hearing in the background of that is that Benjamin Netanyahu is actually open to the idea of a third election. That's not being said um, officially. Officially, we hear he is not open to that. But <clears throat> after he had discussed, after his discussions yesterday with the ultra-Orthodox parties, they said he was looking realistically at third elections, which I think no Israeli could bear right now.